Hi, welcome to Play Resource. Today we're going to convert a plain cardboard cone into a candlestick. The first step is to take our cardboard cone and paint it. My preference is for white because I think you can see in some of these samples, I think everything shows up better against it. Acrylic paint is better, there's much better coverage than poster paint. There we go. That's that. Leave to dry. I'm going to create this using decoupage. So for that I'm going to have to turn to these napkins. Now I already made a sample using this one. And you can see if I open this out that there's different things there. I could use the Christmas tree in Santa. I could have used the, the fairy or the little drummers. There's quite a lot of detail though to cut around. Like this. So that's a much simpler line to cut around and you can see the way there's straight edges here. And even easier again would be to cut out these squares. Nearly all napkins are three ply so what we need to do is separate the three layers because we just want the top. So go to the corner and the first layer usually comes off really easily. That's one. The second one's a wee bit trickier. I've already started with this edge here. There we go. That's the second one. So let's take a good sharp scissors. back to our cone. It should be reasonably dry but if it's not dry completely we can just take a hair dryer and it up. The next stage for decoupage is once we've cut out our pieces and we've got this we want to use our PVA but water it down. Tissue is very very fine. I want to use even a bit less water than that. We really don't need much glue at all. Just a little squeeze, about half and half ordinary PVA glue and water. We might want to try this for size first of all. I quite like the way this is cut at an angle. That will be fine there. And just make sure that this fits. Because we don't want to be trying it for size when it's covered in glue. Track around the bottom. That. And then very very carefully, if you need a brush, take it from the middle up towards the outside so we smooth down the tissue. We, are working we definitely want to use a soft brush for this, rather than a hard bristle brush, in case it would tear the tissue. Now to make the candle holder for the top, from the scrap store, I've picked these up at different times. I think that's so I'm going to take my glue gun. I'll just put a few little dots around the top. Again, if you don't have a glue gun. Now I'm going to get some double sided tape and put it across the centre because there was a hole in the middle of that. But I'm also going to put in some metallic shred here. And a little nest in here to put my candle in and that double sided tape and stick to it. Just make sure. be good for this little multicoloured one. Changing LED. And there's your little lamp. 